Okay, so I am gonna show you now how to make one of these chunky tassels. These tassels are gonna go on each corner of the blanket. I haven't trimmed these off yet if they look a bit scruffy, but I'll show you how to make one on this piece of card. So, get a piece of card. This is 20 centimeters square, because I want quite a nice, big, chunky um, tassel. And really, really simple. What you need to do for the Falling Leaves blanket is crochet four of the balls and then with your fifth ball, make the tassel because then you're gonna know exactly how much yarn you've got left to finish crocheting. So when you've done your fourth ball, make your tassel and this is super, super, super easy. I've got a 20 centimeter square of card and I'm gonna wrap the yarn round. I've got Amy quickly spinning the ball. This was a bit of a nightmare yesterday when I was doing it because the ball doesn't. So I'm gonna wrap this round 40 times so that it's nice and chunky, but I have actually forgotten to count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Try and keep it even. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I'm sure you've watched more exciting videos than this. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So there you go. Thank you, Amy, for your help. So that's the basis of your tassel. You do need sharp scissors for this. Sharp scissors, as often as the case, is everything on this. So, you've wrapped it round 40 times, cut yourself a length of yarn, think that's probably about 50 centimetres, that all you're gonna do to tie it at the top is just literally tie this in a knot, nice and secure at the top, double knot it, so it's nice and tight, and that, those bits you are going to use to sew onto your blanket. And then make sure the tie is at the top, and get your scissors and cut along the bottom. Now, those of you that know me know I am not a perfectionist. I don't believe in things being perfect when you've made them yourself. If you want it perfect, make a use a machine. So there you go, so that's your tassel so far and now we're going to tie a loop of yarn around here to make this bobble at the top so another piece of yarn sorry i keep moving this off the camera i'm not used to doing this type of video so there you go lie that down You're roughly about an inch and a half down tie it in a knot tie it really tightly tie it in a double knot again so it's nice and tight and then I have wrapped this round again and tied it again just to make sure it's nice and secure but like I say don't fret about these things so there you go tie it nice and tight and these bits are just going to fall down and then before you sew your pom-pom, before your tassel even, sorry, not your pom-pom, we're just going to trim the ends. So it's all nice and straight at the ends. And this is where your sharp scissors will come into play. So I'm just going to cut off these bits here. And there you go. There's your tassel for the corner of your blanket. And we're going to sew it on using those ends.